It's spring. It's almost moose milking time. And here in Canada, that's where we get milk, maple syrup is from milking moose. They don't call it mils, moose milk. It's tongue twisters. They don't call it moose milk because that sounds a little weird. They call it maple syrup instead. But it looks like it's almost moose milking time. Hey, kitty. Okay, oh, was right there. It's uh. It's kind of nice today. It's about zero, and we're at our high, and the snow is gone. Oh, I've got a ton of stuff to do. i got to make a dentist appointment. Let's do that first. Book the dentist Thursday morning. Jasmine and I going in for good old tooth scraping. <laughs> Fun, fun, always fun. Watch this. Ah, look at all this room. Huh. Good, I've got room to do stuff now. And I've got a lot of stuff to do. Uh, today I've been uh, online communicating with timer companies. I need a timer to run for a couple hours. I need a couple of them. Uh, when I'm renting these boats out, my biggest fear is not people crashing in the stuff because that's going to happen. Just have to be prepared for that. But them just killing the batteries all the time because people turn things on and then they go off and do their thing and come back and there's no power. Even though we're going to have lots of solar, and should have lots of storage, I need a way to mitigate the risk of them leaving the lights on or leaving anything on. So I'm looking at 12 volt timers. So when you turn on a thing, such as the, uh, here, there's one here. This is a really good consumer of power. this radio. Now that is going to consume how much power? It doesn't say here. I'll have to look online. But if you leave this on all night, it's going to use all the power. <laughs> so I'm going to uh, have it set up so that it only uses, uh, well, power for a certain amount of time. And that's probably going to be like two hours or something or three hours. Uh, and I'll do the same thing with the depth finder because you only need the depth finder when you're moving. So if you turn it on, it'll stay on for a couple hours and then turn off. The depth finder isn't that much of a power drain. Actually, the one isn't. I don't know about the other ones. They may be more of a power drain, but it's, uh, it's still a power drain. You always need to, to realize how much power you're using, especially when you're on a a boat in the middle of nowhere. Okay, so power consumption. We're working on it. Working on controlling the consumption. <laughs> Controlled consumption should be the, the name for this video. Okay, got some more cleaning up to do. More organizing. The cleanup continues. I'm uh, making progress. Slowly but surely, we will succeed here. I've got to really go through this uh, toolbox and get that stuff looked after. Because it's a mess. And down here too. That shouldn't be that much of a mess down there. Okay, got a drawer closed. Look at that. CJ14. Ah, uh, the old tagging days. Should go right on the wall with that. Somebody tried to steal an extension cord from me. This was over at the shop and uh, went from inside the shed out to a, a truck. 
This part was in the truck. Some idiot came and got it. That was a $150 extension cord. At least I got this much left. Man. Found more tape. Some more too. Some stuff hasn't been touched. Four bucks. It's odd that I have painter's tape. <laughs> Tape. Hockey tape. Special application hockey tape, that is. Okay, uh, I should have put mittens on, I should have. But. Getting a little cleaner. It's working out well. Okay, I'm gonna put this in the car. I've had enough out here for today. It is freezing. the work coat out here. Not a mess in the house. Oy. It's only just below zero out there. It's like minus two or three, I think. But oh it feels much colder than it is. Okay. Um yeah. Those swiffers are for the car. It's all kinds of dust and stuff on the dash. I don't like it there, so We'll swiffer them. What do you think, kitty? There was a squirrel crawling around on the screen on the back porch earlier. Kitty didn't even notice. I noticed. Well, how she didn't. One of the other things I've been doing today is uh, I've got a hold of the Canadian Power and Sales Squadron to try and get a replacement license. I, uh, or pleasure craft operators card had one it's at the bottom of Fanshawe Lake as well as my <laughs> radio operators license so uh, I don't want to get caught without those things so I'm trying to get a replacement <laughs> so I emailed them they emailed back right away said, here's a link to the website. Go to the website, put all my information in. They don't have record of me. <laughs> ah, and I was a member. So, <laughs> I don't know what I'm going to do. I got to, I've emailed them back saying it's not working. Uh, I'm waiting for them to get back to me now. And hopefully we'll figure this out. Looks like it's going to cost me 25 bucks for the PCOC. I have no idea what the, radio license costs. But I'll take photocopies of them this time. Keep those on hand. Or maybe take the photocopies with me when I'm out. If I can do that, I'm not sure if that's illegal. I'll figure it out. Making lunch now. Gonna wrap it up there. Uh, eh, not a very interesting day. Tomorrow, maybe. We'll see.